Hi everyone, this is Tori and today I'm sharing another scrapbooking process video with you called You Are My Person. And I have these two photos of one of my best friends, Megan, and I going to see Les Mis in England. And um, this was at the end of our tour with the African Children's Choir and we treated ourselves by going to see Les Mis. So today I'm going to scrapbook these two photos and I was just showing you that I'm going to be using these cut files that say you're my person and these cut files I actually used from a Studio Calico stamp set. Um, I believe it's the Valentine's Day stamp set and it was a stamp that I really wanted but I missed it. I wasn't able to purchase it in the store. It sold out. So I ended up buying the digital brush stamp file and I took that digital stamp file, put it into my Silhouette software and turned it into a cut file, which if you've never done that before is really awesome because you could use a digital stamp and make it into a cut file. And I knew that I really wanted to use this you are my person phrase because I love that. Megan is one of the sweetest pe people I know and she is just so precious. And she really is my person. And um, that phrase comes from um, Grey's Anatomy, one of my favorite TV shows of all time, where um, the, the person that you would call your person is the person that whenever something good or bad, sad, angry, whatever happens to you, they're the person you want to call. And Megan is totally that for me. She's the person I want to call whenever something's happening in my life. So... I started this process by pulling out all my January um, papers from the Far Far Away kit to decide which one to use. Decided to use this navy blue sort of raindroppy, polka dotty, I don't know what you would call it, paper. Just because the cut file that I cut in white looks the best on that, it pops the most. And I really wanted that to pop because it was going to be my title. So I begin by trimming a quarter inch off of two of the sides just so that I'll mat it on white paper and I didn't trim off a lot because I just wanted the border to be really small around the edge of the page. Um, and so I end up using this white cardstock. I think it's Nina white cardstock or Basil. I, I can't remember. And I just um, adhere this paper down. Now originally when I had gotten this paper I thought I would use this pink side because I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors but that purpley navy blue side worked really well too and it looks the best with this cut file so that's why I decided to use it. So I'm going to start by adhering this uh, photo or this paper down and I want to adhere it really well because it, my plan was to do some painting on top of the cardstock, some white paint, um, which you'll see what happens with that. But that was originally the plan and I wanted to adhere it really well so that it would hold the paint. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because you're going to see me fool, fooling around with the paper because I put it down crooked and then it's so hard to get up that I just leave it down. <laughs> And then you're going to see me painting, and then in the end, I'm just going to cover that up. But I'll explain what I was doing just so that you can tell, just in case you maybe like the way it looks and want to repeat it. So what I did was I grabbed some white acrylic paint, and I watered it down, and I'm going to add sort of a whitewash effect on the top and the bottom of the paper. This was an idea that I had sort of seen on a really amazing layout on Pinterest, and I wanted to replicate the way they had done it. But I just hated the way it looked. So I, I'm going to cover up all this paint. But um, I just, this is just one of those Pinterest fails, you know. So I end up painting it and then drying it and then doing some splatters. And what I do keep is I keep the splatters because I love the way the splatters look. I'm also going to add some splatters in another color too because I wanted to add some purple ones to sort of just... Um, add something else to the layout. So I grab some purple Mr. Hueys from Studio Calico. I water that down a little bit by I stick my brush in the purple um, dye and then I dip it in water and then I splatter it on the page and then I dry that down and dab it off with a cloth. 
And then when I'm all done with this, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, I hate the way this looks so much. But I'll come back to it. Maybe I can come up with some way to fix it. So I grabbed my photos and I want to mat them on something. And I found this really great like watermark paper from the card kit this month. And I mat the two photos on this 6x6 paper. Meanwhile, I'm yelling at my brother to bring back my scissors because a few at the beginning of the spread he had borrowed my big scissors. So I was trying to cut apart these photos, but using little tiny scissors, which was dumb. I wanted big ones and I didn't want to use my cutting board, which I'm not sure why. I just wanted my scissors and he couldn't find them. So I end up um, trying to use my craft knife and that works. But what I really wanted was my big scissors because these little ones just aren't being very straight and the craft knife is fooling around but you'll find you'll see at the end of the layout that um, the craft knife works just fine so next what I did is I adhered the two photos on a glassine gassing bag and I trimmed around that as well just to add some extra layering if I had vellum I probably would have used that but I've run out of vellum so I can't use that. But also I have a quadrillion of these bags so it works well to use up the packaging. And I'm gonna use these two photos and I'm gonna layer them both on the page. And I want them to overlap a little bit so um, I'm just checking with my title to make sure that they're gonna fit on the page. And then I start hot gluing down the title. And I'm using hot glue because I want it to sort of pop off the page and be dimensional. And if you put hot glue on something and then let it dry a little bit, it sort of hardens that way and then it leaves some dimension. And after I'm done that, I am trying to figure out what to do with this bottom just because, or the bottom and the top, just because I hate the, the white paint. And I'm like, how am I gonna fix this? So I'm thinking and thinking and also telling my brother to bring me back my scissors. <laughs> and um, then I decide I'll just put down these photos and maybe I'll come up with a plan. Maybe I can cover it up with some paper. So I grabbed this um, phrase paper from this month's kit and it says hello, hello, hello in a typewriter font. And I cut two chunks of that and I'm going to put that on the top and the bottom. I had cut it a little too big so I, I end up trimming each of them um, about a half inch or a quarter of an inch just to make it a little smaller and I just wanted to cover up that white paint but in the end I actually love the way that pattern paper looks at the top and the bottom of the paper. I think it sort of um, grounds the rest of the layout and draws all your attention into the photo and the title which I really love. And especially since this layout is sort of a, a more simple one, like it doesn't have a lot going on, it's nice to have something that draws your attention into the middle, into the photo. And I just adhere that with some sticky tack um, adhesive from Express, I think it's called. And then I hot glue down my photos and again lightly adhere them so that they'll just pop off the page. And now I want to just embellish the page. So I grab these chipboard hearts with a gold fleck in them, which are adorable. I think they came in the Project Life main kit this month, and I want to spread them out on the page, and I just love the way they look. I wish I had like a huge 12 by 12 sheet of just these hearts. They're so precious. And I end up hearing, um, adhering sorry, three of them, one to the left of the photos, one in the middle, and then one to the right. Um, just drawing your your eye along those two photos. I thought I might use some of these label stickers but I couldn't really find a place that they would work well. Next I saw this washi tape which came in one of the kits this month and I love the way that that washi tape is sort of like transparent. It looks a little bit like vellum and it looks actually really good with the glassine bag that I had adhered on the back of the the pictures it sort of like matches it and I end up putting one strip just above the hello paper at the bottom and one just um, below the hello strip at the top. I love the way that that washi tape just sort of shows through to the pattern paper underneath and how it just again is keeping with this horizontal um, page design. Next I saw these wood veneer um, 
butterflies that came in this month's card kit. And even though I really want to use them on a card, I thought they would look pretty um, overlapping some of these hearts. So I grabbed two of them and one goes on the left hand side and one goes on the right side, just overlapping those hearts. And it's, um, it really looks cute on there. Next I grab the scrapbooking um, alpha, this like rubber alpha, it's really cool. And I'm going to use the hearts that are on this alpha set to just add some more um, embellishment to the page. And I end up putting them in the middle with that, that um, chipboard heart that's already there. I end up putting three of those rubber alpha hearts well, they're not really alpha, but they come from the alpha from this month. And I put them down around that middle and they sort of fit along that connecting line between the two photos. And now I'm just looking for some enamel dots to just finish off the page. And I'm going to use, I think, four of them. A couple in the middle and then one on each side. Originally I was only going to use three, but I wanted to use up this set. So these are candy shop jellies and they're in pink. And um, I also am going to use some candy shop like clear dots too. And I place those along that middle section with those hearts. And I think that the embellishment for this page is a lot more simple than I would normally embellish a page. But I love how it just is a clean look and how it just draws your attention to those photos and to the story. And I'm going to finish off this page with some journaling along that bottom strip. And I'm using my Uniball Signo um, Broad White um, Pigment Ink Pen, which works so well on dark surfaces. And I just add a little bit of journaling along the bottom. And then I'm also going to be adding the date to the top of the page. And I'm just looking on my computer for what that date is. Now one thing I did want to mention before this finishes is that I realized that I forgot the apostrophe in the your. And so after the video stops, I am going to go back and fix it because it's not your, it's you are my person. So it's supposed to be you and then apostrophe re. So I'm going to just go back and fix that after. And I'll finish today with some still shots of the layout. And thanks everyone for joining me. That's it. It's done. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you.